recently I was thinking, how can I physically measure the distance to the moon and the size of it? I was thinking, it's just too large and too far away. Of course, that's the answer. I need to make it smaller and closer. So I scale it down. I won't change any of the numbers. I use the numbers that are provided by the internet, NASA and all the authorities, and I just convert miles into millimetres. They tell us that the diameter of the moon is 2,159 miles, and its distance um, varies actually. It can be 252,088 miles, or 225,623 miles. That's the difference of 26,465. That's quite a variation. So I've taken the, um, that's what I've done. I took that picture of the full moon, which I'm going to use for this experiment, uh, a couple of days before I planned to take it because the weather was changing. So initially, I was going to take it on the full moon, it was 100%, but it was only 986 so it's not a full moon, so I've allowed for that in the, the cut and paste. Um, the distance to the moon, according to Stellarium, was 20, uh, what's that, that's too many numbers, uh, 244,695 miles. Now, if you convert millimetres, because we're working with millimetres now, if you convert that into feet, that happens to be a fraction over 800 feet. So that's the scale that I'm going to use. I'm currently cutting the moon out, the picture I've taken of the moon, on the 5th of August. It wasn't a 100% full moon because the cloud was coming in, so I wanted to get it early. So I'm cutting it out, I'm making sure I've got it all perfect. And I'm going to use that same image in all my scale models. I'm going to cut and paste it in. Uh, actually, I'm not going to cut, I'm just going to copy and paste. Now, this is an A4 sheet of paper. I've got four scales of the moon on there. This is the 16 feet um, test. The 16 foot test uh, comprises of a, a diameter of 43.18 millimeters, and that fits very nice. Now I'm going to test the um, 20 feet uh, circle um, that has a diameter of 54 millimetres and there's something wrong with it. It doesn't seem to fit. There's a problem with it. No, it's not going to fit. No, it doesn't matter how you move it, mate. It's not going to fit. Something's wrong. Uh, I wanted to do the 32 notes, but for some reason the 40 page uh, for, uh, the 40 feet test came out and although it's not a hundred percent that's pretty good and the 40 feet test the diameter of that circle is 107.49 millimeters which is obviously miles in terms of the moon and I was quite happy with that now the 32 test this is 32 feet So look at that, and that's that's almost 100%. It's not perfect, but it, it's good enough for me. Yeah, oh yes, that's looking good. Yeah, I like that one. So the funny thing is, all the the 32, the um, 16, and the 8 are all multiples of 8. The 20 doesn't multiply by 8. Now we go for the big test. This is my car, and I've got nine sheets of A4 paper taped together to represent the size of the moon on a one-to-one -one scale. We're testing 200 feet now, so I'm going to use two moons, because I didn't bother to put a mark in there, and we'll zoom in and we'll see what happens, let's see if they fit. 
Those little blue dots at the top of the square of the circle are perfect for measuring and that's why I've used a straight line to represent the moon rather than um, a circle or even a sphere because it's just so much easier. Obviously I didn't, didn't bother to level it out 100% because the door handle was there. That's the drop below it. I'm right. I'm now going to do the uh, what am I doing? I'm doing the 400 feet test. This is from 400 feet away, so I'm looking for a scale of um, 400 feet that would be one to five, which is uh, one one meter and 79. 0.5 millimeters. And let's try and line that up. I'll zoom in for that. Get those little blue dots, the handles on the circle cut out, right on the edge of that paper. There's a little black line that it lines up perfectly. That is perfect. It it lines up perfectly. Right, and now we try the one-to-one -one test, and that's where I simply converted miles into millimetres. I've moved my camera position 800 feet from the car with the um, nine sheets of A4 paper so I take together to represent 2 metres 159 millimetres. And I put the moon on there which is exactly the same moon for all the other pictures. I just cut and pasted it into the same image. I try and get it lined up. That's it. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. But it's not right. It's not right. Look, you've got that gap. There's something not right there. Hmm. I should check it out that way. It's not right. The moon cannot be the size right. Now I'll cut and paste the moon into another a 200 mil uh, a 200 mil uh, lens photo, and that area you can see. Is 12.26 miles away, and I just got to look to see what it is in feet. Uh, that's 64,717 feet away. That's on the Isle of Wight. I'm currently taking this photograph from uh, Leon Sonnen Airfield, and that's um, on the Isle of Wight. You can see the castle there, just to the uh, right of Osborne House. Um, what's the information on the aerial? Um, it's the Rowbridge Transmitter Station. Apparently that area was 564 feet um, above the ground, but the, the ground is 1,291 feet above sea level, including the height of the aerial. I'm just putting it in there because that doesn't look natural, does it? Have you ever seen a moon that big? But that's exactly the same moon I cut and paste from the photos I took of the moon. So maybe looking up, it's not the same as looking across the land. Ah, look, it's small down the bottom there. Wow, that looks really small. It's the same moon. I'm just moving up and down the picture. Hmm. This picture is exactly the same picture as the aerial photo, but the camera is 100% level. I've got it 100% level on a, a tripod. Uh, so... What can I conclude from this? I don't know. I don't believe the moon is the size they tell us. Um, if it is the size they tell us, then it is the distance. In reality, I have never seen a shadow being cast by an object smaller than the object itself. Normally, uh, shadows that are cast get bigger or they are the same. They may get longer due to the angle of the light, or shorter. The simple fact that the uh, total eclipse did not cast darkness over the entire Earth is a simple just, um, clue to the fact that the Sun is obviously bigger than the Moon, because you know you can still see the Sun from the UK. You can see well, we can see it because it's cloudy, but you could see it as light, which means the light wasn't blocked. So, in reality, 
I would conclude that the size of the moon is the diameter of the position on the ground where you can see 50% of the moon and the distance south of that or north of that, wherever you measured it from first, where you can see the other 50% of the, the sun, I might say moon in the other word, but I meant sun, that would be the diameter. Um, uh, I did have the number, but I, I can't remember where I've written it down. Um, you know, just go out and do tests. That's all you can do.